All right, to set up our general settings, we're going to go to login.theprintlife.com and log in, get to your dashboard here, and scroll down to the settings icon in the left menu, click settings, and then select general from the drop down. Uh, there's a handful of tabs at the top. We're going to go over each one briefly just to make sure you get all the necessary information in here. And then once we're done with this, we're also going to quickly go over setting up your uh, actual profile. All right, so site title. Pretty obvious. Uh, this is your business name. So in this case, we're going to just put Monument Limited. Uh, I, don't, I feel like we don't even really need to spend that much time on this. Uh, so, you know, just enter your site title here. Uh, if you have a URL, you need to make which is your web address. You just need to make sure that you put whether it is HTTPS or HTTP. So any domain that has the lock on it is HTTPS. If it does not have this lock icon here in the web address, then it's HTTP. So in this case, MonumentLimited.com is HTTPS uh, semicolon forward slash forward slash, and then we have www.MonumentLimited.com. If you don't enter this in here it's not going to let you save it so if you enter a site url at all you need to have either http or https okay okay enter your address if you have a secondary address like a suite number put it here uh, city state zip and your email that you're going to use to conduct business we use sales at monumentlimited.com site-wide so that's what i have in here and then your business phone number once you have that hit save if everything is correct, you'll get a green bar up here. If you miss something or you mess something up, you'll get the warning up there in like a, a light pink. Social links. Don't, these don't really matter too much. These are just links that go in the emails that you automatically send to your customers for various tasks. I have my Facebook one in here and my Instagram one, which you don't need to really worry about these. Unless, unless you do. Then you can put them in there. Okay, so we do need to briefly cover site images and what, how, to, how to, I guess deal with each one of these so your main logo is just what shows up here and it will also show up in your emails and uh, also the quotes that you send to your customers and things like that so you do want to make sure to put your logo in here if you hover over the question mark you'll see the required dimensions the most important one is the max height which is 50 pixels now I wish that we put 50 px in there but we haven't so just know maximum height of your logo needs to be 50 pixels or less uh, and then you can use a JPEG, uh, JP, uh, PNG, whatever. But just make sure that it's less than 50 pixels tall and less than 2 megabytes total size. It should be pretty easy. And use a transparent PNG. Okay, the favicon is the little icon that shows up here in the tab of your browser. Also, if someone searches uh, your, you know, if you send this uh, a quote out to somebody, you'll also see your favicon up here. So you want to put this in. Uh, it's just a little square logo. Uh, usually a transparent PNG, although it doesn't have to be. And just this one just has a maximum of 2 megabytes. But in most cases, just make a 50 by 50 pixel logo and then upload it here. The best seller image is what shows up in the product catalog. If you come to New Quote, you'll see that this is the best seller image right here. So you want to make sure to put one in there and uh, you'll be good to go with that. And then all, you'll know what your best sellers are. And then finally, order terms. So these are the two okay first off these show up on the uh, the bottom of your quotes and your invoices uh, this one right here is kinda like you can ignore this thing for now this this main box because it was on the old WordPress plugin and we are rebuilding that so as of right now you can just ignore the order instructions so you can delete that and hit save what you'll want to do is change the title up here for invoice terms title from monument limited to whatever your shops name is and then here, if you just click inside this box and hit the down arrow, it'll fully expand it. Uh, and I have some terrible grammatical errors in here that I didn't even notice. But you can go through and kind of read what we've put in here. And you can add more or remove these, whatever you want to do. These are your terms that will be on the footer of all of your invoices and quotes. So get that stuff up to par and you'll be good to go. Once you've made the changes, hit save. And that's it. You've set up all of your general settings. This is a key step. It's a simple step, but you got to do it. Next, the final thing I want to talk about in here is your profile. Come up here, hit the drop down, and you're going to go to profile. Uh, and you just need to basically sort of take the information you put in general settings and put it in here as well. Your company name, your first name, your last name. Uh, this is your username that you did when you signed up. You actually can't edit that. Uh, it is what it is, but you always have it there. 
And then you're just going to make sure that your email that you're using under general settings is also up here. So make sure that it says whatever your, that email is. Put your business phone number in here and again your site URL. And you can see I'm missing the S there, so we're going to fix that. This is where you can also upload your image. Uh, it can be pretty much any size here. Just uh, Usually a square image works best because it shows up in the thumbnail. You don't have to do this, but it just puts a little polish on your profile. Hit save. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. You've now set up uh, your general settings and your profile settings, so you're good to go. Thank you. And now we'll move on to the next step.